My name is Colleen Sampson and um, this is my graduate research project for the University of Massachusetts. So um, we're going around, we're measuring stream flow and groundwater flow, trying to figure out what's causing the basement flooding. Now I'm taking velocity measurements. Um, I'm taking average flow, um, average column flow, maximum flow, and maximum column flow. Um, depending on the shape of the stream, uh, different areas in the brook have different um, flow rates. I'm trying to finish it up now. I was trying to end it this semester, but I'm um, probably not going to be able to finish it. So once I, I'm trying to get the full year worth of um, stream flow measurements. Um, once that's done, i got to do the whole the paper writing. So hopefully by the end of next semester, I should be done. Hopefully the town will be able to look at it and come to a decision of what they want to do. Um, I think they are actually thinking of doing something with cleaning out the brook just because it's becoming so overgrown it's hard to, um, like a lot of sections are filling in. There's a couple sections that, I, that I've heard from different landowners that they said used to have a brook there and it's completely filled in now and you can't even tell. There's actually I think about three forks of it. Um, last year, right before winter, I walked up, I walked the entire length from the beginning to the end, um, mapping the different forks with a GPS unit, taking different um, channel surveys, which I went and about every foot you take a measurement um, of a transection across, and then you can get the general profile of the stream. Then once you get all that data, you can go and calculate the flow of how much water is able to be transported through the area. It starts just up a little ways up towards Mount Toby. There's a couple different forks and it ends up down in the Connecticut River um, right past Morosky's farm stand. There's um, the other half of it goes all the way down.